Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining today's webinar, Giving Customers and Dealers What They Want, Control, an Examination of Key Bus and Key Switch. My name is Jason Stegent. I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. Just some general housekeeping notes before we get started. Today's presentation with Q&A should definitely be uh, under 30 minutes. We're going to jam-pack a lot of value into that time span. I want to be cognizant of everybody's time. You'll see some notes here just real briefly uh, so we can get to the meat of the presentation. You have the ability to personalize your webcast experience. And by that, I mean you can really view the webinar the way you want to. You can move all those boxes, all those windows that you currently see up, move them around, minimize some. What a lot of people like to do is they like to maximize the slide deck so they can view it in full screen mode. So if the, if the slide deck's not big enough for you, go ahead and maximize it and really view it the way that you want to. Uh, in terms of audio, there's no dial-in for today's attendees. You're going to be hearing this through your PC speakers. So we always get that question. There is no dial-in. If the audio is not loud enough for you, most of the time it's because the volume on your PC isn't up full enough. So blast that thing up all the way if you need to. Make sure that the volume on your media player is up. If that's still not good enough for you, headphones are recommended. Uh, in terms of, of questions, you'll see a Q&A field already up. All you've got to do is type in your questions, press submit. We're going to address as many of those as we can at the end of today's webinar. We want you guys to be engaged, so send in any questions that you have, and we'll get to them. In terms of the Resource Center, you'll see a series of icons at the bottom of the screen enable you to do a bunch of different things. One of them is uh, the Resource tab. It looks like a paper clip. There's a few key pieces of content in there uh, that we think you'll get a lot of value out of. So if you click on that tab, you'll see some of those PDFs. You can download them right here within this environment. And then, of course, post-event, we're recording today's presentation. You'll get an email from us within the next 24 hours on how to access the on-demand version of this webinar, perhaps share it with other uh, folks in your network that you think would get a lot of value out of that. So be on the lookout for an email from us within the next 24 hours for the on-demand version. So with that being said, Ryan, why don't you tell our audience today, why are we here? Sure. Jason, thank you for uh, moderating as usual. I also want to thank all of the attendees today. We hope that you find a lot of value in this presentation. But the reason we're here, your customers want control, and IP Datatel delivers that control. The cellular alarm communicators that we have allow for interactive services, the ability to send and receive signals, as well as a variety of notifications in the event of an alarm or an open and close signal. Dealers want control as well. IP Datatel delivers that. Our dual path internet and cellular alarm communicators allow our dealer partners the ability to perform remote servicing, stop sending out costly truck rolls, really help you to control your revenue stream and increase your RMR, while also helping to control inventory. We really want to help you effectively manage your employees' time, spend more time selling, and less time servicing. Great. And, folks, by the way, that was your presenter today. His name is Ryan McConnell. Ryan and I are friends. Uh, have done a lot of these with Ryan, known him for a long time. I know he's going to do a great job, as he always does. A little bit of background on Ryan. Uh, he actually joined IP Data Tell in 2009, was the first employee uh, over there. So he's been there uh, about seven years now, currently overseeing the, the business development team. He has a ton of experience in the security industry and really remains focused on working with dealer partners to become more efficient by reducing costs and reducing unnecessary service calls while ultimately lowering customer attrition. So when it comes to speaking to current dealers and prospective dealers, uh, Ryan is really a, a, a voice of, of authority, uh, knows what he's talking about. He'll really deliver today's message, give you guys a ton of value out of it. All right, so Ryan, with that being said, obviously at the onset you talked about control. How can our audience get that control? Well, Jason, as you said in, in the intro, uh, I have personally spent about 10 years uh, in the security industry, and, and that started with uh, selling security systems door-to-door, -door. Uh, completely organic sales. Uh, there was real no, really no thrill in the sale for the consumer. Um, and, and if you look now, it's everywhere. So, you know, 15 years ago, uh, 10 years ago, interactive really didn't exist the way that it does today. And, and there are a lot of choices, and we want to make sure uh, as you choose an IP data tell product that you're fitting into uh, what you want to. Uh, we, our recommendations for today are going to be to understand key switch and key bus functionality, and we'll also provide you with the feature set. Uh, we want to help you minimize your upfront costs, reduce attrition while increasing your RMR. So, Ryan, let's start with key switch technology. What are the features and benefits? 
Sure. If you look at KeySwitch, it is more of your simple and effective interactive solution uh, with lower upfront costs. Uh, this device not only sends signals to the central station from the security system and provide notifications to the end user, uh, but it also allows the end user to arm and disarm the system uh, through key switch functionality. If you don't know what key switch is, it is basically just an open zone on the panel, um, and with a voltage change, it allows the system uh, to alternate between an armed and disarmed state. The great thing about the product is that it does help to increase your RMR because you are providing those interactive services, um, but it also helps to reduce attrition. When a customer has these interactive services, uh, they're much more likely to stay with you and also add more services in the future. So give the customer what they want. Uh, if you look at the notifications, for instance, this customer knows when their kids or employees are coming and going uh, from a particular location, uh, and, and that, that's important for them to know. Okay, so if I'm a dealer, what scenarios or what challenges would the key switch solution solve for me? Well, this device allows you to provide a base model, simple interactive solution that allows them to arm and disarm and receive notifications, as I mentioned. It's a great replacement for 2G radio. So if you take an older system, for instance, and let's say it communicates contact ID, you could put an IP data tell key switch device, such as the CAT CDMA or the CAT XT, uh, on the system and give them a true upgrade of what they had in the past. Okay, great. So, Ryan, now let's move on to Keybus technology and the, the benefits of Full Interactive. If, if you could expand on, on that a little bit for our audience. Sure. Well, the Keybus connectivity uh, is really robust. Basically, full keypad emulation for DSC Honeywell and GE. This device is it's a basically a consistent experience for the consumer from their keypad on the wall all the way to the app to the website. And the great thing about it, it allows you to increase your customer scores by being able to remotely service these accounts. So a true return on the investment from the device. Um, but it's total control, full keypad emulation, as I mentioned, easy transition. Um, but you can go in and change user codes, bypass zones, check system troubles. And you can also remotely service this through uploading and downloading the panel uh, or using the online keypad to solve basic easy issues uh, instead of rolling a truck. So if I'm your customer, Ryan, when and where does the key bus solution work best for me? Well, sir, as I mentioned, we are compatible for key bus with the Honeywell DSC and GE product lines. But really, anytime you see one of those products, I would definitely use this. Uh, the customer, for instance, they had a problem with their security system. It starts beeping. They can call you, and you can remotely service that account in just a few minutes. So you can really eliminate between 60 to 80 percent of service calls. Okay, Ryan, now let's get into the specific solutions that IP Datatel offers for our audience members looking for a key switch solution. IP Datatel offers two products in the key switch lineup. The first is the CAT CDMA. It's our most universal and most popular in this category. It connects to any panel out there that communicates contact ID. It's on the Verizon CDMA network. Uh, this device will not only allow for signals to the central station, but also for notifications. And we also have the CAT XT. Uh, this is a snap-in module for the GE Simon XT and XTI specifically. That device, again, will send signals to the central station, provide notifications, and both of these products will do a simple arm and disarm. What about those who are looking for that fully interactive solution, Keybus? IP Datatel has three products in the Keybus format. Um, the only real difference between these three products is the way that they connect. You've got the BAT CDMA, which is a hardwired internet connection backed up by cellular. You've got the BAT CDMA Wi-Fi, which is a Wi-Fi connection backed up by cellular. Um, but you don't have to use the cell portion on either of those two devices. We also have the BAT Wi-Fi, which is a Wi-Fi only communicator, only internet connection. And all three of these products will allow for upload and download, remote service capabilities, and have that full keypad emulation and that consistent experience for the customer. All right, Ryan, so on this next slide, let's talk some hard numbers, some stats. And if you could, discuss the situation where IP Datatel really delivered for, for one of your dealers. Sure. Well, we'll use a local example. We have an IP Datatel partner here in Houston, Texas that we've been working with a long time. The population in Houston, greater metropolitan area, is about 6.49 million people with 648 square miles. 
Life before IP Datatel with this particular customer, they were performing about 40 to 60 installs a month, but they were running 43 service calls on a non-key bus product, and their attrition was at 16%, which is a little bit high. And you got to look at the wear and tear on the vehicles and time it takes away from new sales to run all of these service calls, and at an average of 12 miles between service calls and an $85 charge to the customer, which they may or may not want to pay, uh, you really put yourself at risk in losing this customer since there are no remote service capabilities on products like that. IP Datatel's fat CDMA is what they chose once they uh, once they partnered with us, and they're now doing about 60 to 75 installs per month. Uh, they've reduced their service calls down to 16, and those service calls don't always involve uh, IP Datatel. In fact, I would venture to say that most of them are not IP Datatel related, but they do have pre-existing accounts. So with that being said, uh, you're really allowed to spend more time selling and less time servicing. The average time for remote servicing is about eight minutes. So if the customer calls in and says, my keypad is beeping, I don't know why, most likely they're going to be able to provide that customer resolution pretty quickly. And with that being said, their customer satisfaction scores go way up to 55%. And the reason being is that the customer doesn't have to take off work, doesn't have to take a Saturday away from the family to wait for a technician to show up and service the system. This has helped reduce their attrition down to 6 to 8%. Yeah, definitely a, a good story to tell, definitely a good case study to share. Before we get into this next slide, Steps to the Future, I did want to remind everybody we've had some questions coming in from the audience. You have about five more minutes or so to send those in. If you have any questions, send them in. We're going to get after the Q&A portion of this webinar here momentarily, but just wanted to send a general reminder. So when we look at this slide, Steps to the Future, uh, there's really four key things that I want to talk about to really summarize what Ryan covered in the previous slides. Number one, know your technology options. Ryan talked about KeySwitch, which is a simple and effective interactive solution, and KeyBus, which gives you total control and interactive access. Number two, learn the IP Datatel product choices. Today we covered CAT CDMA for key switch, CAT XT for key switch, BAT CDMA, and BAT CDMA Wi-Fi for the full key bus experience, and the BAT Wi-Fi for the full key bus experience. Number three, and I think this is really important, find the right device to fit your needs. Within that, first, find out what features and benefits are important for you and your customers, and then second, get familiar with the team at IP Datatel, which really leads us into Number four, which is contact IP Datatel today, and we're going to show you here on this slide exactly how you can do that. So, Ryan, how can dealers learn more or get started today with IP Datatel? Well, absolutely. We have a uh, really awesome business development team here at IP Datatel, and they would be more than happy to get everyone set up with a new account, answer any questions that you may have, and get you on your way. Visit IPDatatel.com and click on the Become a Dealer Registration form. Make sure to fill that out thoroughly for us. And we want to make sure that we're providing the best service possible. You can email sales at ipdatatel.com, and one of our talented inside sales folks will get back to you shortly. Uh, you can also call 866-896-2944, extension 1, and talk to our sales team. Great. And, and before we get into the Q&A, uh, like I mentioned at the start of the presentation, we're recording today's webinar you will receive an email shortly, most likely today, uh, with links to the PowerPoint slide deck and the webinar recording that's going to be archived on demand for at least 12 months. So if you have any folks that you think would get a lot of value out of it, please share it with them. We'd love to see them view this on demand. So be on the lookout for that email. And if you have any questions, send them in. Uh, like I said, we've had a lot of questions coming in. We have room for more. But um, with that being said, Ryan, let's just roll right into the Q&A session and get started. All right, so the first question, Ryan, uh, and this came in from Dan. Dan wants to know, Ryan, does the BAT CDMA require the Internet connection for interactive and upload-download, basically remote servicing? Sure, great, great question. Uh, and the uh, answer is no, we do not require that Internet connection. Um, all the features, whether you're connected to Internet, cell, or both, um, all the features and functionality is going to be the same. Um, so you can still arm and disarm the system uh, and upload and download uh, remotely. Perfect. 
Uh, second one, we're going to tackle about five. Again, if anybody has any extra questions, send those in. We'll get to as many as we can. Uh, this is from Patrice. Patrice wants to know, Ryan, is there any device that can make a non-compatible or legacy device compliant or functional? Well, Patrice, that's a great question, um, and the answer is yes. Uh, we do have a series of Keybus connected devices as we reviewed for Honeywell DSC and GE, and those are the full functionality. But if you found or came across a um, an older NAPCO or a radionics panel that communicates contact ID, um, you can use any of our products um, to use the uh, key switch functionality. Uh, as long as that panel is communicating contact ID, we're good to go. All right, great. All right, we got one coming in from Ian. Ian wants to know, will the customer be able to receive notifications by user zone, user slash zone, with the key switch, uh, cat, with the, excuse me, with the key switch cat? Your competitors, or your competition doesn't provide that service, which is why I ask. All right, and uh, the answer there uh, is going to be uh, yes. It's a full data communicator um, all the way to the central station and to the end user, and also included in the event log uh, will reflect by user and by zone uh, transmissions. All right, fantastic. We're going to take two more. If any anybody has any other questions they'd like to uh, see answered, please submit them. Uh, this one is from Shelby. Ryan, are you seeing dealers migrate toward IP-only products? I'm tired of Honeywell, Uplink, and Telguard misleading us with the so-called latest technology in cellular. Well, great. And as we've talked about in some previous webinars and choosing the right um, technology, uh, you know, first off, if you look at those three that were mentioned, uh, they're heavily focused on AT&T, and that's where the real problem uh, resides with uh, sunsetting of technologies. But to answer the specific question, um, yes, IP products are more and more popular. If you look at analog uh, video, for instance, 10 years ago was the big deal and, and no one wanted to use IP cameras. Um, now we're seeing a huge migration to IP cameras and security alarms being monitored over IP are becoming more and more popular. Uh, the IP uh, communicators are the only products that you're going to find uh, that are going to guarantee that longevity. Okay. Uh, we have been, all right, so we've got one more, actually got a couple more, but let's knock out this one at least. This is from Joe. said, Ryan, I've been looking for a dual-pass solution for legacy hardwired panels, and I don't know of any other provider offering this. In your experience, are consumers intrigued by the dual-pass redundancy? Well, I think you have to put that in kind of two buckets. You've got your customers that just went through the uh, 2G sunset and their radio had to be replaced, and may, they may or may not have been charged for that, but there was a service call that was needed for that. Um, so the dual path really sets you apart and allows you to use the cellular for the, for the length of, of its existence, um, and then they will still be monitored over uh, the Internet piece of, of the device. So it's really a, a, a really good, uh, strong way uh, to kind of combat that concern on those customers. Now, if you're looking at new customers um, and acquiring uh, new customers with a dual path solution, use that same mentality to kind of sell the dual path solution um, for the customer. It really provides the longevity they need, uh, and it'll eventually give you a, a longer relationship with that customer as well. Okay, great. I think we're going to wrap it up there, Ryan. We, we knocked out five good ones. Had a few more coming in from the audience, but for the sake of time, uh, we're going we're gonna to shut it down uh, with those. Any questions that uh, – actually, you know what? We had one more coming in. Let's knock out one more, and then we'll be good to go. This is from uh, Algardos, Ryan. Uh, Algardos wants to know, how much for the Android iOS app? So um, everything that we do here at IP Datatel um, is a uh, – we really want to give you the most amount of service for the least amount of money, and I'm sure you enjoy hearing that. Um, we really don't nickel and dime for charges. Uh, we really want to include everything. So in your services, um, you know, base service pricing, 
on our cellular devices, for instance, is a certain amount, and then you add um, a dollar or so for the interactive services. And included in that interactive service charge uh, is going to be a free download for the Android and iOS app. And just to kind of uh, add to that, um, all of our services, such as uh, branding and um, uh, such as branding and, and signals are all going to be included, so there's no limits as to what IP data cell is going to place on you. Fantastic. Algardas, hope that answered your question. Uh, and Ron, by the way, thanks for the uh, thanks for the positive feedback. Sounds like a lot of people really got a lot of value out of today's webinar. So again, on the back end, just wanted a few general reminders. That resource tab uh, underneath uh, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a series of icons again. The resource tab is the one with the paper clip. You'll see some product brochures, info around BAT CDMA, CAT CDMA, um, key bus, key switch, et cetera, and everything IP Datatel brings to the marketplace. Go ahead, download those. Have that for safekeeping. Uh, if we didn't get to any of your questions, uh, Ryan, will, uh, Ryan or the inside sales team at IP Datatel will reach out to you guys directly to make sure that you have the info you need. Uh, this webinar is going to be on demand within the next 24 hours. I would say expect an email from us today at the latest tomorrow morning on how to access the on-demand version and the slide deck as well for safekeeping so you can reference what you learned today and continue to get more value out of it. So with that being said, we're going to come in uh, under 30 minutes, um, which is fantastic, and hopefully we can keep them all under 30 minutes moving forward. I want to thank everybody uh, for attending today's webinar. We have another one coming up in October. Uh, the, the date is to be determined, but be on the lookout for some promotions on that one shortly. Uh, everybody have a great day. Ryan, as always, fantastic job. Looking forward to doing it again. Yeah, thanks, Jason, again for moderating. We really appreciate everybody participating. Uh, we encourage everyone today to install IP Data Tone and let us know how we can help you do that. Fantastic. Have a great day, everybody.